I'm going to do a cold start here on this Powerback 5000 watt generator that I got. I got this in December of 2013. It's been about 14 months since this has been started. It was in really good shape, hadn't been used very much, and I've just kept it. And the last time I ran this, I ran it completely out of gas with some fuel stabilizer in it. So it should start okay. This has two 120 volt plugs as well as a NEMA L1420 twist plug that you can power as well with this power generator. 5000 watts, 6250 surge. It has a Briggs & Stratton Vanguard 9 horsepower engine on it. Model number 185432. And the fuel is cut off on it. The tank is empty. I'm going to put some fuel in this and cut this fuel flow back on. Let it sit here a few minutes and let gas get back into the carburetor. And hopefully it'll start with no problem. It's got an overhead valve, Briggs & Stratton engine on it. This generator does not have a wheel kit on it as you can see. I've got it sitting on this dolly to make it easier to move around. Put just a little bit of gas in here. I've got the fuel valve cut on. Just going to let this flow a bit and give it a start. This is the off and on switch. I'm going to pull this rope a bit and just let the oil circulate first in here before I try to start it. And we're just going to let this circulate the plate around a little bit. Make sure everything is moving in there. Get some oil in the overhead valve. Cut it on and I'm going to put it on choke. And this will be the first start in about 14 months. Let's see if it'll work here. Fuel is on. Here we go.
and it ran out of gas. Good to go till next time.